week before we start the show. In the middle of town, everybody's dressing up. I'm dressing down. Just really good friends. Oh, beautiful guys. The month of March is here and this brings Mother's Day. I'm Louise and I've joined up with leather bag brand Niche Lane to go and chat to some people about some cheeky little things that they might find in their mother's bag and their mother's style. We're doing a little video for Mother's Day today and what, how would you describe your mum's style and say three words to her? Classy. She's fashionable. Fantastic. Charity shop shit. My mum works with me here so uh, she popped out of the shop so I pinched her bag. Oh. So, well, it was nothing. Now, this is actually, we haven't checked yet. So, jazzy scarf, a couple of checkbooks and stuff for the business, I'm guessing. You got anywhere nice you're going to be taking your mum on Mother's Day or doing anything in particular? Yeah, I'm going to have to take out for a, a nice champagne meal somewhere to a local restaurant. Too much chatting to us, and I like the little exclusive of the bag. And I like this. Yes, niche lane. It's nice. That could be a man, though. No, but it's sorted. He's having this one. You do, you've got a sale. <laughs> Thank you. I'm joined with Cassis, who just come off the stage here at O'Neill's for Horizons. So I'm joined with Rowell's mum, who's looking forward to his set. Are you excited? I'm so excited. What's the favourite part of you seeing him live? Is there anything you enjoy the most seeing him play? Do you know what? Every time I see him live, I'm shaking. Rowell, you've just come off stage from the headline slot at Horizons. How did it go for you? It was absolutely amazing. I'm out of breath, my stomach's hurting. Never <laughs> felt this pain before. <laughs> There's so much energy going on in that set. You make me feel like so like <gasps> out of breath myself. That's my intention, you know. And this is the last gig of Horizons, unfortunately. So what has been your highlight of the year? Do you know what? I want to say a performance, but the whole journey itself. Hello, I'm Louise and I brought Unique Lullaby down to the Great Escape Festival 2018. On to Liverpool Sound City, the 15th anniversary of Green Man. I'm going to be vlogging Soon Festival all over the three days. It's Soon's 10th birthday this year, so it's a super, super exciting journey and the weather has been stunning. It's been glorious over the weekend so far. There's loads of bands, hundreds in fact, playing across loads of different venues around Brighton. And we're gonna be chatting to a few of them. We're gonna be chatting to the likes of Hers, Annabelle Allen, Hockey Dad, Jerry Williams, and loads more as well. Now, how long did it take for Jordan to adopt her British accent? So I did see on Twitter there was a poll. How yes. long did it take? Uh, when, as soon as we landed. As soon as we landed. As soon. That was it. <laughs> as soon as we landed. Is it decent? Can we have a little like hear of it? How how how, how good is it? Like, you got properly. It? But properly. Properly. Yeah. Londonish. Londonish. Yeah. Londonish. Yeah. yeah. The A's and the N's and all that. I like, I like <laughs> yogurt. 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 Yeah. We just yogurt. Yeah. You guys yogurt, right? Yogurt. 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 Well, that's good. Exactly. If you could go back and record one of your songs in the '60s, but in a Beatles style, what song oh. of yours would you choose to record? That's a great question. I reckon Coke so, could do well in a beat style. Yeah, yeah. I feel Don Allen would yeah, like that one. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. It would be like after they went to India and got really high. <laughs> I saw Miles Kane tweet you guys today, which is insane. Yeah, we're, How was that? We're, 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 we're little fanboys. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we were like a little starstruck. But it's funny because it was one of the first gigs that myself and Charlie ever went to together. Yeah. A Miles Kane gig. And, you know, it was one of those moments where it was like, I, I could be on that stage, I could be doing that. Yeah. And then lo and behold, he, he's listened to our music, so we're That's absolutely insane. flattered. Can you imagine if Al Turner listened to our music? I, I have Turner? read that uh, you guys are big fans of Arctic Monkeys oh, as well. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, we grew up with them, so. Yes. We, so. That first album, whatever people say, it, is, well, I'm not. Is when just you turned insane. 18, you know, like, it's, it just made so much sense. It does, it does, it does. <laughs> It does, yeah. Going out drinking, enjoying it. Not yeah, underage, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got your ID. <laughs> I, I read something really nice about you guys as well when you were kind of saying you don't want to be put in a box with your music and, you know, you, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you don't really want to be compared to other people. But I love that because you do make music to be unique and you make music that you want to make. So I think that's a really nice analogy. Oh, I it really feels so nice cool. to hear you say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, like, be their own thing and not compare them unless they outright... Yeah, they say yeah. want to yeah. be compared. Yeah, <laughs> they're a cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the gigs, uh, the gigs have all gone really, really well. I did yeah. see that um, you did a stage dive and you accidentally uh, got a girl in the face on the. Tour. Yes, <laughs> yes. What? I've kicked a few people in the face this tour. Um, they were very forgiving though. So yeah, yeah. it's got to be done. It's all rock and roll, isn't it's it? It's rock and good. roll. I mean. <laughs> It's rock and roll, but then also, I'm really sorry to those people who I kicked in the face. Apologies, <laughs> sincere apologies. That, like, there's the rock and roll part of me that's like, yeah. yeah. And then there's the like me part of me that's like, I, I am really sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Write something that means something, obviously. But, yeah, Can you remember the first care. song you ever wrote? Yeah, it was called Come On, Get Going, Get Grooving. And mm. it was, um, 
Come on, get going, get grooving. Come on, get going, get grooving. Come on, get going, get grooving. Shake your body down and do the twist. Like I like it. I like it. And that was the that and the song. And can you remember? Ding, 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 ding. Like, and you'll go social media as well. I think it's one of my favourites. Like you post really? some really it interesting. It's the pictures that you post and the videos that you post. Like, what's the Instagram stories? I do. I do. I've seen a lot of naked pictures on your own Instagram. Oh, is that a theme that you're going to come on stage naked? Is this no, a, like a shame? No, thing? that's the end of that. We, that was a little phase we went through for a day. <laughs> Finally, if you could sum up Green Man in one word, well, in one kind of mythical creature to describe it. What mythical creature would you use to describe Green Man? <laughs> so it has to be some kind of gura wudu. <laughs> Like Do you know what, what does that look like? Can you picture it, like colour-wise? Yeah, it's it's quite leafy. I think that's a bit obvious. Yeah, yeah a bit green, I think, maybe. Like a big, big Welsh sort of dinosaur thing that lives inside that. A big sort of majestic, wonderful creature. I like that. Watch out for that. That's coming uh, to a children's book near you. So I'm joined with Pretty Vicious here in Merthyr College, who are going to grace the stage of Merthyr Rising. And Sun has decided to come out. You enjoyed the most while you've been here? Uh, dual age were brilliant. We've kept the sea upbeat sneakers, but we're taking it all in, whatever. Are you enjoying the festival? Yeah, I love food. It's the EP right there in front of you, in the flesh, literally. <laughs> so I'm joined with Ralph and Bob, who are making mushrooms here in Green Man. Tell us a little bit about you, do, Ralph. Uh, not a lot. I'm very tired and it's raining. Yep. And I'm going home now. Oh, you've done, you're out. <laughs> Ralph out. <laughs> so, do you come to Green Man every year or is this a new thing for you? Oh, this is my ninth, ninth year. And, and has it always been mushrooms or is it you kind of like done no, different things over the years? my work over there. Look at, look at that. Look at that. So that's it for the 15th anniversary of Green Man this year and it's been amazing. We've had to chat to some awesome bands. I've also caught some wicked music over this weekend. We've also chatted to a few of the festival goers, a few of the festival punters, a few of the stalls. But now I'm going to go and head to the brewery and sample a few more of those beers before I go and catch PJ Harvey, I think. So uh, I'll catch you soon. <laughs>